Introduction We know that reproduction is the ability of all organisms to produce young ones similar to themselves in most of characters. Yes, we can also say the process by which species is continued is called reproduction. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define reproduction Find out importance of variation Identify types of reproduction Understand the asexual reproduction Understand fission Study the process of budding Understand process of spore formation Understand regeneration Understand process of fragmentation Find out vegetative reproduction Exact copies of organisms Various organisms of a species look similar because their designs are similar. By the process of reproduction, the blueprints of the body design are produced. We already know that every organism is made up of cells and each cell has chromosome in nucleus. These chromosomes bear information for transmission of characters from parents to their offsprings in the form of DNA. DNA carries information for the formation of proteins. After each cell division, DNA is replicated and two copies are produced. As a result of cell division, each cell is divided into two daughter cells. Importance of variation At the time of copying when there is change in DNA information, then the proteins formed are different and hence there occurs variation from the parent species, which is the basis of evolution. Niches are filled up by populations of organisms as a result of process of reproduction. Due to external factors like change in temperature, water level, meteorite hits, etc., there is drastic change in niche. As a result, entire population perishes. But there are chances that few individuals may survive. We can understand above discussion with the help of an example. If water temperature of bacteria living in temperate water increases due to global warming, most of the bacteria perishes. Few variants which are resistant to heat may survive and flourish. So we can say that Variation is important for survival of species. Types of Reproduction Asexual Reproduction Reproduction is of two types. Asexual Reproduction Sexual Reproduction The production of a new organism from a single parent without the involvement of sex cells is called asexual reproduction. Example, binary fission in amoeba, budding in hydra, spore formation in rhizopus, and vegetative reproduction in flowering plants. In asexual reproduction, cell divisions are amitotic or mitotic. The new individuals produced are genetically identical to their parents, and it is fast mode of multiplication. The disadvantages of asexual reproduction are that identical organisms are produced generation after generation and evolutionary changes are not possible as variation does not occur. Fission In fission, a fully grown parent divides into two or more daughters. It is the simplest method of asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms such as amoeba, paramecium, and other protozoa. Fission is of two types. Binary fission, multiple fission. Binary fission is the division of one cell into two similar or identical cells during favorable conditions. In this method, the nucleus first divides amitotically into two, followed by the division of the cytoplasm. The cell finally splits into two daughter cells. Examples 
bacteria, yeast, euglena, amoeba, and paramecium. Multiple fission is parental fission. Parental body divides into many daughter cells simultaneously during the unfavorable conditions. The nucleus of the cell divides repeatedly, producing many nuclei. Each nucleus is surrounded by a small amount of cytoplasm, and many daughter cells are produced within cyst. The cyst breaks up under favorable conditions, and small offsprings are liberated. Example of multiple fission is that of malaria parasite plasmodium. Budding In budding, one or more unicellular or multicellular outgrowths, called buds, are formed on or inside the parental body. Hydra reproduces by budding using the regenerative cell division at one specific site. When fully mature, the bud detaches itself from the parent body and develops into new independent individuals. Spore formation When a slice of bread is kept in moist and dark place for few days, spores of rhizopus present in the air settle on the bread to form new fungus plants of rhizopus. The rhizopus has a knob-like structure which is involved in reproduction called sporangia, containing spores that develop into new rhizopus. Regeneration The process of getting back a full organism from its body parts is called regeneration. It is the ability of a fully differentiated organism to give rise to new individual organisms from its body parts. Small cut or broken parts of the organism's body grow or regenerate into separate individuals. Simple organisms like hydra and planaria can be cut into any number of pieces and each piece grows into a complete organism. Fragmentation In fragmentation parental body breaks into two or more fragments either by wave action or by death or decay of older parts. Multicellular organisms with simple body organizations such as filamentous algae Spirogyra breaks up into two or more small pieces or fragments upon maturation. These fragments grow into new individuals. Among animals, flatworms show fragmentation of the body which develops into new individuals. Fragmentation is found in algae such as Spirogyra. Vegetative reproduction. Vegetative reproduction is process of multiplication in which new plants are obtained from the parts of old plants like stems, roots and leaves without the help of any reproductive organ. Vegetative propagation is of two types. Natural vegetative propagation, artificial vegetative propagation. Natural Vegetative Propagation Among seed plants, natural vegetative propagation is very common. It is of three types. By roots, by stem, and by leaves. By roots, some plants develop adventitious buds on them. Example, guava, shisham. Some tuberous adventitious roots besides possessing adventitious buds, also contain sufficient quantities of food, example, dahlia and sweet potato. By stem, some plants reproduce by means of stem straggling and branched rhizomes reproduce by vegetative reproduction, example, banana, ginger, turmeric. Stem tubers are found in potato and artichoke. Tuber of potato is a swollen apical part of an underground stem branched, bears a number of nodes or eyes. Each eye bears one or more buds. New plants are produced from the buds on the eyes. The potato crop is raised by tubers and not by seeds. Runner is aerial weak stem, for example, in lawn grass, mint, and wood 
Sorrel, when touches the ground, gives off adventitious roots at nodes. When the older part of plant dies, the branches separate from the parent plant and form independent plants. A bulb also bears a number of buds, example, garlic and onion. Corms like crocus, colocasia, etc. have sufficient stored food and also bear many adventitious buds. By leaves. In some plants, notched margins of fleshy leaves bear adventitious buds. When the leaf falls on the soil, the buds develop into small plants under favorable condition. These plantlets, on being detached, develop into independent plants. Example, Bryophyllum begonia. Assessment. Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learned. Drag and drop the correct option. Artificial vegetative propagation. Gardeners and horticulturists have developed the various methods of artificial vegetative propagation. Some common methods are by cutting, layering, grafting, budding, tissue culture. Cutting. A cutting is separated portion of root stem or leaf which is buried partly in moist soil. Many plants like sugarcane, rose, citrus, duranta, grapes, cocoa, bougainvillea, carnations and chrysanthemum are propagated by means of cutting. Layering The adventitious roots are produced in the branch of the stem before the plant is detached from the parent plant. The branch of stem is called a layer and phenomenon is called layering. This method is used in lemon, guava, hibiscus, bougainvillea, jasmine, raspberry and many ornamental plants. Grafting In this method of reproduction, two plants of closely related varieties are joined together so that they live as one plant. The portion of a plant that is grafted on the other plant is called sion and the plant in which grafting is performed is called the stalk. Examples Mango, Apple, Peas, Citrus and Guava. Budding In budding, a bud with small portion of surrounding bark is taken from the stem of a desired plant. It is then inserted into a small slit made in the bark of stalk. Both are tied together and not allowed to dry. Example, rows, plums, etc. Tissue culture. It is the production or propagation of new plants from isolated plant cells or small pieces of plant tissue in a synthetic medium of culture solution. Plants are grown by removing tissues or separating cells from the growing tip of the plant and put in an artificial medium. The plant tissue divides to form a small group of cells called callus. The callus is transferred to another medium containing hormones for growth and differentiation that forms plantlets. The plantlets produced are transplanted into pots or soil where they can grow to form mature plants. It is also known as micropropagation in vitro because it takes place outside the parent plant body in a test tube using an artificial environment. It is being used for the production of ornamental plants like orchids, dahlia and carnation. Advantages and Disadvantages of Vegetative Propagation let us discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of vegetative propagation. Assessment. Before proceeding further, let us know how much have you learned. Match the following.
Did you know, during multiple fission in liver, plasmodium produces about 1,000 daughter cells, while during multiple fission inside the red blood corpuscles, it produces 12 to 24 daughter cells called merozoites. Reparative regeneration is the process of reformation of damaged cells of the body. Example, wound healing and replacement of dead RBCs by new RBCs in man. Regenerative regeneration is the process of redevelopment of lost body part. Example, tail in lizard, hydra, planaria, etc. Bulbils are small, fleshy, specialized buds. When they fall on the ground, they produce new individuals. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The process in which new organisms are formed by existing organisms is called reproduction. In asexual reproduction, new individual comes from single parent. Some organisms like spirogyra upon maturation break up into smaller fragments which grow into new individuals. In plants like money plant, rose, grapes, etc., vegetative propagation is done by cutting. In layering, a branch of plant bearing the tips of the branch exposed is bent to its ground and covered with moist soil. Grafting is a method in which cut stems of two different plants, stalk and chion, are joined together in such a way they develop into single plant. Various methods of asexual reproduction found in animals are fission, budding, fragmentation and regeneration. Fission involves division of the parental organism into two or more daughter cells. Fission is of two types, binary and multiple fission. In binary fission, two daughter cells are formed. In multiple fission, many daughter cells are formed. Budding involves formation of one or more unicellular or multicellular buds on or inside the parental body. Buds are unicellular in yeasts while are multicellular in hydra, sponges, etc. Buds may be exogenous or endogenous. Fragmentation involves breaking of parental body into two or more fragments, each of which develops into an organism. Regeneration involves repair of damaged tissues or redevelopment of several body parts or formation of whole body from a body fragment. The power of regeneration is more in lower organisms due to less specialization in them.